Hi everyone, we're going to use implicit differentiation to find an equation of the tangent line to the curve at the point 3 comma 1. So the first thing we're going to do is differentiate implicitly. We have to use the chain rule on the left hand side. So this is going to be 4 times x squared plus y squared times the derivative of your inner function which is going to be 2x plus 2y times the derivative of y. And I'm just going to put y prime for that. All right, equals, now this is just the constant. So you just have 25, and you do the same thing on this side. Uh, 2x, but minus 2y times the derivative of y. All right, um, let's see, we have these twos in here. Let's factor out those twos. I'll just do it uh, here. So I'm going to factor out a two. Uh, factor out that two. And the reason I did that is that these numbers are going to get kind of big. So I want to go ahead and uh, divide both sides by 2. So um, you could have just looked at this line and just crossed those 2's out if you wanted to. But anyway, that's how you would do that. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 4 and distribute it with this. So what you're going to get is you're going to get 4x times x squared plus y squared plus and now 4 times y times y prime times x squared plus y squared. All right, what I'm doing is I'm trying to separate, separate out my uh, derivative so I can solve for that. And on uh, the right-hand side, we have uh, 25x minus 25y times y prime. Now, let's group our uh, y primes together. And that's going to give us uh, 4y times y prime of x squared plus y squared. And that's this piece. And then we're going to add this to both sides, plus 25y times y prime equals, and we're going to move this over. So we're going to get uh, 25x, this piece, minus the 4x times x squared plus y squared. Now, um, the next step is to factor out the y prime so we can solve for it. So factor that out. You're going to get 4y times x squared plus y squared um, plus 25y <coughs> equals uh, all of this on the right-hand side. All right, after that, what we're going to do is um, solve for our derivative. We're going to divide uh, both sides by this quantity. So we'll just divide this uh, by that, and you're going to get y prime equals 25x minus 4x times x squared plus y squared divided by 25y plus 4y times x squared plus y squared. All right, and so that's your derivative, but we have to find the equation of the tangent line. So basically we have x equals 3 and y equals 1. So when you plug all this in, you're going to get our derivative equals, for the numerator, we're going to get 75 minus, and when you plug in your 3 and 1 here, you're going to get 120. I already did that just to speed it up a little. And then for the denominator, you're going to get uh, 25. You plug in the 1, and then plus 40. So this is going to give you negative uh, 45 divided by 65. Can you imagine if we left those 2's in, this number would be a lot bigger. Um, then you have negative 9 
thirteenths. So that's your gradient or your slope. And now we can write our equation of our line. So we're going to use point slope form. And that's going to give us uh, y minus your y value uh, equals your uh, gradient times x minus 3. Uh, let's simplify this. y equals negative 9 um, divided by 13x plus 27 thirteenths. Uh, and then we're going to add this one, plus 1. So this gives us y equals negative 9 thirteenths x plus 27 thirteenths plus 13 divided by 13. So finally your uh, equation is going to be y equals negative 9 thirteenths x plus 40 divided by 13. And that's your equation of your line. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.